welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. It is Saturday, so it is a grocery haul day. Luckily this week I didn't have to get as much as I have the last couple of weeks because we really stocked up the last couple of weeks, but I did find a couple of new finds that I'm excited to share with you guys. I went to both Trader Joe's and Fred Meyer, which is also a Kroger store. I'm also going to share this week's meal plan and what I am doing for meal prep. So I have lots of fun in store for you. So if you want to see what I picked up for groceries this week, as well as what's on the schedule for meal plan and meal prep, stay tuned. I'm run from my given disaster. So here's my haul from Trader Joe's. Luckily this week I didn't have to buy a ton because I've done that the last two weeks. So I did go to Trader Joe's for produce and a few other staples. So let's jump into the Trader Joe's haul. I picked my dogs up some treats, of course. These are the grain-free peanut butter and banana. They really like these and they have no chicken and no grain, so it's perfect for them. I also restocked my organic shredded mozzarella cheese. Again, the price for this isn't as bad as I originally thought, and I really like this cheese. You can have one ounce or a quarter cup for only two points. So not bad, and it's really, really good and flavorful. I did grab another bag of the Trader Joe's dried bean cherries. I need this for a recipe. Now, I count these as zero points because all that's in there is dried cherries. So I don't count these as any points. Of course, you can if you would like. So here's the nutritional information but I just add a little bit of these to a salad or a recipe so basically the same amount of regular cherries that I would eat and I just make sure that I drink some water to kind of rehydrate them and then I grabbed another thing of the organic feta cheese I really like this feta I'm planning on making some salads and I needed this also for a recipe restocked my maple syrup I was so sad to be out Trader Joe's has one of the best prices for maple syrup. So this is their organic Vermont maple. It was $4.99. And then this was the last one I saw on the shelf. And this is their organic pure bourbon vanilla extract. I grabbed it because this is a limited edition item. They usually have a vanilla extract, but it's not organic. And this was the same price as the regular. So pick that up. Just going to throw it in the pantry to have on hand. Also a repurchase. These were amazing. These are the Trader Joe's organic milk chocolate caramel eggs. These are so good, you guys. <laughs> they are so incredibly good. Well worth the points. Individually wrapped so you don't overeat them and they are really, really delicious. So I picked those up. Everything else is produce. So I grabbed some organic baby broccoli. I needed this for a recipe. And then also just some broccoli florets for another recipe. It seems like I've been using broccoli a lot, which isn't a bad thing, so I picked that up. I grabbed this salad mix for a salad. I'm gonna have a salad for lunch tomorrow, and this sounded really good, this herb salad mix, and some of their lettuce didn't look so hot, so this is one of the best ones that was organic, so I grabbed that. And then I also picked up some organic Tuscan, ta Tuscan kale, wow, for a recipe. And then some red potatoes. These are the Ladybug Organics. I need the potatoes for a couple of recipes. And we do like to have those with veggies on a sheet pan. Another bag of the Teeny Tiny Avocados. I did eat all of these last week. I've been having an avocado every day. I love it so much. Keeps me nice and full. A papaya again. It just sounded really good. I seriously can't wait for summer when fruit is in season. I'm kind of tired of the winter fruits, the oranges of the world. So I'm excited to have some papaya to give me some tropical vibes. Some organic strawberries. They actually look pretty good at Trader Joe's. So I grabbed those. So I'll do strawberries and papaya for the week. And then one lone shallot for a recipe. So let's jump into what I picked up at Fred Meyer. And here is what I picked up this week at Fred Meyer. So first we're going to start with our, my new find. You guys know I love the Siete chips, but you can usually only find them in the big bag. Now I found them in the little individual bags, six bags in a bag. I want to say this was oh, about $8. So it's a little over a dollar a bag, but these are the best chips. They're so good. They had sea salt and they had the lime. I went ahead and got the lime, but these are pre-portioned, ready to go. You guys, the ingredients 
ingredients in these are perfection and they're literally absolutely delicious chips. I love them with salsa, guacamole, with the cheese dip, the siete queso. So I picked those up for me. That way they're pre-portioned out, ready to go. For my husband, I grabbed just a regular chip variety pack. I like to show you guys everything I pick up whether it's for me or not, because we all eat different foods on our program. So these are just the little 18 bag variety of individual chips. Also for him, I grabbed the little bites. He likes these party ones for in his lunch. These are those little individual bags of the muffins. And then I decided to try these again. Um, these are the Oli or Ollie sleep gummies. I've been taking a sleep gummy. It's helping me sleep a lot better, especially on days that I'm just home and not doing a lot. I have a hard time sleeping. So I had a coupon for these, so I grabbed those. I also needed a can of corn for a recipe, so I got the Simple Truth Organic Super Sweet Corn. I'm making my husband his favorite pasta salad, not WW friendly, but nonetheless his favorite salad, so this is just some diced ham for that. Picked up a pound of 93.7 Organic Ground Turkey. I need this for a dinner recipe. And a dozen eggs for egg salad sandwiches for this next week for my husband. He wanted egg salad this week. Also for that pasta salad, I needed a big block of cheese. So this is just some mild cheddar cheese. And I had a coupon for the, this that was about to expire. So this is the Private Selection Center Cut Double Smoked Bacon. So I picked that up. It never hurts to just have some bacon in the freezer on those days that you just want some bacon. So I picked that up. The rest of what I grabbed is produce. So I have three organic red bell peppers. I need peppers for a couple of recipes. So I picked those up. Also running a little low on my mixed fruit for my smoothies. And since I didn't go to Costco this week, I grabbed the Simple Truth Organic Mixed Fruit. This is fresh frozen strawberries, peaches, pineapple, and mango. So I thought that would be really, really good. And speaking of smoothies, I grabbed a bunch of organic bananas. I'm going to let these get really, really ripe. And then I put them in a little Ziploc bag and throw these in my freezer so that I have bananas for smoothies couple of sweet potatoes. I wanted the ones with the orange, but they were out of the organic ones. I always buy my port potatoes organic because they're on the dirty dozen list. So I just grabbed these sweet potatoes for a Buddha bowl recipe. Can't wait for that. Some green onion for my husband's pasta salad. And last but not least, some radishes for his pasta salad. Not shown is some Diet Coke and some Coors Light. So that is my grocery haul this week from Fred Meyer. So let's jump into my meal plan and my meal prep. So here is what is on the menu for this next week. So this is the week of April 4th through April 10th. So starting today, Saturday, we always go out for dinner or pick up something for dinner on Saturdays. Tomorrow, I'm going to be making chicken divin, which is really, really delicious. And then on Monday, I'm making a kale, cranberry, and feta salad. So we're going to keep it nice and fresh. Maybe pair that with some chicken. Tuesday, we'll do leftovers to eat up what we didn't finish from the last couple of days. Wednesday is spaghetti cups. These are clean eating little mini spaghetti cups made in a muffin pan. So these should be really, really good. Thursday, we're going to do some turkey burgers. I don't know if we'll cook those up on the barbecue or in the house. And then Friday, we'll barbecue up some garlic and ginger kebabs. And then on the back of the weekly menu is where I write down what I'm doing for meal prep. So all of these recipes you'll see in Monday's meal prep video. So I'm going to be doing a healthy breakfast hash using sweet potatoes. This should be really, really good for breakfast. Lunches for the week are going to be sweet potato Buddha bowls. So this is my first time making a Buddha bowl. So I'm excited to share that recipe with you guys. And then I'm going to be making some clean eating chocolate chip cookies just to have some dessert options on hand. So all three of these recipes you will see in my meal prep. And then these other recipes you'll kind of see throughout the week. The ones that I do decide to share, you'll see those on my channel. Also, I wanted to point out that a lot of people have asked what this BLDS means. This is breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. So you can actually plan all, all of your meals. I just do my dinners because I meal prep breakfast, lunch, and snacks. So now let's take a look at the meal planner. So this is my meal planner. I use the Carrie L meal planner. I get a lot of questions on this. I actually just featured this in Thursday's favorite video, but this is the brand new cover for 2020. I love it. I think it's beautiful, but this meal planner is awesome. It is everything you need to plan, 
stay on track. So the first tab we'll go through is the top one. That is the resource tab. And this is where you can just jot down your favorite websites, meal planning blogs. You can even write down your favorite recipes so that they're at a glance if you want to make them again in the future. The orange tab is inventory. I did kind of take advantage of this section over this whole quarantine, but you can do your freezer inventory, also your pantry inventory, and the one that I took advantage of is my spice inventory. So I went through my spice cabinet and I wrote down all of my spices that I don't use very often and when their expiration date is. That way I can make sure that I use them up and I don't have them on hand too far past their expiration date. The yellow tab is where we just were, and this is where you go to plan your meals. So let's go to the current month, which is April. So there is a calendar and at a glance for the month. I love this because I take advantage of this by the night before checking to see what's on the menu, making sure I have all of the ingredients, but also making sure that I pull out any meat I need out of the freezer and have that ready to go. So I just write down my menu for the entire month. Now, it, yes, it changes. I even write down extra recipes. So on one of the nights that I planned for leftovers, if there isn't any or not enough, I have a couple of backup recipes as well. So I like seeing everything at a glance. And then each week, there is also the weekly menu. And that's where you'll write down your menu and the detachable grocery list for you to take to the grocery store. And you guys know, I take it every single week. So when you look at mine, I don't have the grocery list anymore. It's actually what I use at the grocery store. So love it. And then the gatherings tab looks pretty similar to the meal planning tab. It's where you're going to go ahead and plan your events, similar to planning your meals including even the supplies that you need for the event. And then there's a detachable grocery list for that as well. And lastly is the notes tab. And again, this is where you're just gonna jot down notes, anything you wanna keep track of. They give you lots of note pages in the back, which I love. And then there's a little two-sided folder. Now I use this, I put my printed out recipes for the week, so when I go to make a recipe I just grab it right out of the little folder so that is the Carrie L meal planner I do have 10% off I'll go ahead and put that here on the screen you do actually have to go through the link down in the description box in order to get the 10% off so simply click the link in the description box enter my code here on the screen at checkout and you'll get 10% off so this is my carry on meal plan. You guys know I love this. Highly recommend. Thank you for joining me on another weekly My WW Grocery Haul. I'm so excited to share this week's grocery haul and meal plan with you guys. You will be seeing meal prep recipes uploaded on Monday for my typical meal prep Monday. You'll also see a couple of these dinner recipes kind of scattered throughout other videos throughout this next week. So definitely stay tuned for that. Down in the description box is the link to come on over and join up on my website. That way you have access to all of my recipes. You can print them off, there's photos. Make sure you enter your email so you're subscribed to my website as well. I'll be doing a lot of giveaways and fun things, especially for those that are part of my website. So make sure that you join me over there. Down in the description box is also all of the discount codes that I can offer for my favorite things. So check it out. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on so you don't miss a single video. Give this video a thumbs up if you love grocery hauls and comment down below. Let me know which of these recipes are you most excited to see and try for yourself. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Saturday and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.